everything is a signal. Signals are just ubiquitous around us. Light can be treated as a signal. The muscle potentials that we measure with our electromyographic devices can be treated as signals. Even like probability distributions and things that are much, much more abstract can be signals. I'm Aditya Paul. I am currently an ECECS major with a minor in physics, and I am also team lead for Team Neuralnet on Duke Enable. So Enable is a club where we basically build prostheses for people, um, for amputees free of charge. We work together with local amputees to figure out what exactly they need and build prosthetics to most adequately satisfy those needs. We do our best to accommodate their lifestyles and we kind of build around that. We also do a little bit of research as well. And our main goal is to kind of build control systems for the prostheses that we design. We're actively working with a couple of the teams in order to build um, electromyographic control systems for their prostheses. So electromyography is basically um, a kind of a sensing technique where you can basically strap electrodes to your arm and these electrodes um, basically measure um, voltages inside of your muscles. If someone is an amputee, we'd be able to pull out muscle signals from their muscles, figure out what their nerves are telling their muscles to do, and do that same action with the prosthetic. Our club used to meet in the Innovation Co-Lab, which is our on-campus makerspace, and we also stored all of our things there. This past year, we came back from summer break, and we found that the Myo band that we used, which was a sensor that we could basically strap to our arm, um, it was missing. And so at first we were kind of frantically searching for it, but then I kind of sat down and thought the Myo band was not the greatest piece of hardware. Um, it sampled at a rate that was way too slow for us to do anything with the data that we got. Can we build something that samples at the right rate, does on device signal processing and stores signals that we get out of our arms for later analysis and also do a little bit of like um, built-in signal processing in order to cut out some of the noise that we would be dealing with usually. My team is absurdly talented um, and I don't think I could have done any of this without them and I think that's the really important part about Enable being really interdisciplinary. We have so many different perspectives that are coming together to address the same engineering problem. And it's really good to see that our skills are being put to use in helping people. And that's something I really, really appreciate about the club.